Folks, I get this question all the time. What's the compass on your wrist? This is the Sunto Clipper, and I believe that this is really a compass everybody should have. It's so compact, it's easy to clip onto all kinds of different material, regardless if it's like a map that you're looking at, regardless if it's inside a pocket, or like myself on a wristband, something like that. It's got even a little loop, you can run it on zippers, whatever, but it's very accurate. You know, it's made from a great company, Sunto. It's got a glow in the dark features. So there's a lot going on, and I really believe it is the compass that everybody, there's no excuse, should have if they think that a compass is something that's needed on their person uh, and you know they're out in the woods a lot or even around town I use it sometimes when I need you know in downtown environments that I'm not familiar with it's a great tool to have so let's just break it down real quick real fast what it has to offer and show you whether or not this would be the right one to get for you and carry on you all the time all right folks well here she blows took the watch off and we're just going to kind of walk this through here we'll take it off the watch in just a moment it was fun i looked this up when i purchased this i purchased this on may 16th 2015 and it is may 15th 2017 so literally one day away from being two years on my wrist on this watch consistently every day and I take this watch with me everywhere I go. So literally it's only off when I am uh, working out and I do that, you know, three to four times a week for an hour or two and then it's bam back on the wrist. And as I've said, because it's just so compact, so many different attachments, I think this is a great item to have on you. It's been with me on all kinds of different adventures to to peaks of mountains, you know, throughout the Rocky Mountains, tons of gear testing, firearm training. I mean, you go down the list, you can think of it. Uh, I, it is on my wrist constantly um, going on, you know, adventures around town, whatever it may be, um, out of town even. And, and it, it's just so awesome. So I'll just kind of touch on it here. This is calibrated for the Northern Hemisphere. So that is something to consider. It is um, available to be or, you know, capable of being worked underwater as well. So if you're into diving a lot and doing that type of thing, it'll work for that as well now the size of it is so small just give us some perspective here here is a quarter and the quarter is actually just slightly larger than the face so that is the main perspective uh, just so you kind of get an idea of its size now on its face right here with this is rotatable 360 degrees either way uh, the degrees and it does have the degree marker Sorry, it's a little tricky to do all on camera here, uh, but I can adjust this if you want to. And wherever you adjust it, it'll stay there until you move it again. You know, it's not going to just float around. So the face is rotatable uh, and it is, you know, 360. So that's really nice. North, south, east, west with degree points throughout it. So again, even though it's really compact, it is going to give you a lot in that capacity of reading where you're going. So as I said a moment ago, there is a glow in the dark feature. And if you're in daylight, you know, it'll hold that glow if you were to walk right indoors into like pitch blackness for a good amount of time. This I blasted for about uh, 20 seconds, you know, a high beam of light. And you can see it's very high glowing and it will hold that glow for a good amount of time. So it's a pretty good residual um, illumination for this. And it just helps you to see a little bit longer, you know, so you can reacquire your bearings, you know, for a short period of time afterwards if you are even in pitch blackness, which is really nice. Some other basic specs before we actually take it off and walk through a few other things here. It is liquid filled with a jewel bearing. So that's important to note. Some of these compasses do not have jewel bearings on them, you know, that a jeweler would use. And so they're not as smooth or high quality in its, you know, face reading and, you know, where it's going to go. So that's really nice to see that it has that. Um, and then it also is uh, has um, the card. It's a card in there. It's not, you know, like some other form of, of orb or something like that. It's a little flat card that we're seeing moving around. That's the face of the compass. It does also have uh, Suntos limited what lifetime warranty. And I love Suntos. They have really good warranties. They have really good um, just products that they build. This is a very high quality build and it is made in Finland. So as I said a little earlier, it is insensitive to water pressure. So that's always a good thing. No batteries, obviously, or calibration, you know, directions or anything that you need to worry about trying to recalibrate. It weighs five grams, which is awesome, or 0 0.18 ounces. Very nice uh, to see that. Now, the main attachment is the clip. And as you can see there, it's been riding there really nicely. I've never once bumped this off with all the different stuff that I do with this um compass so you just have to remove the little tab it has really nice little teeth there uh, that 
are really nice and adjusted to really grip onto whatever you may slide through there. You could run paracord, you could do other nylon straps, or it does have this little hole right here that you could run 550 paracord through and then just loop it on the other side right here and tie it down so you could put it again through zippers, all kinds of different things that you may want to attach it to. Now the gap from here to here of some people and some other videos that I did, because this has been included in many EDC videos I do, we're very curious, the width of the band, basically what's like, what's the maximum band width. And uh, what I measured in here is 0 0.85 inches. So uh, just a hair under um, an inch wide in diameter is what this uh, watch band will be able to handle sliding through there. And the overall thickness from the top of the face to the bottom is going to be 0 0.4. So that's the, the just a hair under a quarter inch, or excuse me, half an inch thick on its overall thickness. And the last thing is on the face, I, again, huge amount of abuse and I've never had this scuff scratch get really damaged. So it's very residual polymer that I believe they're using here that's gonna really hold up to a lot of scuffing and wearing. Now it is accurate and its accuracy is five degrees. So that's pretty good for such a little compact thing. You know, again, this isn't like got the mirror and you know, you can do all the different navigation with it. This is just a basic compass, but a very good basic compass. And and the resolution is um, every 10 degrees, which is really nice. And it's operating temperature as well, which is something that's important, is negative 30 Celsius uh, to positive uh, 60 Celsius, which equals negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This will function. So almost anywhere that you will ever want to be, this will be functioning underwater, above water, um, you know, different types of pressure, you know, up high, high elevation. I've taken these up to 14,000 feet, worked for that when I do 14ers, um, you know, down to sea level when I've gone and visited family and everything in between as well as every type of crazy temperature short of like the North or South Pole or, you know, deserts that would kill you. I don't even know if it'll get up to 140 degrees in the, uh, any desert on earth. So um, great, very tough, very durable and going to last you uh, for me, two years, brutally using it every single day in my EDC system, everywhere I go. Now, this is the one thing that you're really going to have to weigh. Now, I have seen huge value in it, but there is a pretty penny, much more than a quarter, that this is going to go for. This is going to run you about $18 to $20. Links in the description below over to Amazon. That's a great way to help support the channel. Helps us make videos just like this. We get a little kickback when you guys use those hyperlinks for this purchase or any other purchase uh, for the following 24 hours when you use that hyperlink. And that is always a great way to help support what we do. It helps me buy products just like this um, uh, compass and do videos just like this for you guys. So uh, again, 20 bucks, you know, I mean, that's a pretty penny. You can get some good larger compasses that are obviously not this compact and, you know, usable uh, for about half of that from Brunton. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're out there. So you just need to weigh that. Is this really of value to you? To me, it absolutely is. Uh, I love it and I would highly recommend it. And the, the quality has been there for me, totally worth the purchase two years ago for the $20 price point. But again, just weigh the odds. Again, if you're interested and you do see value in this and you think, yeah, I need this in my system, then uh, use those links provided in the description below. So there you have it, folks. There's the answer to the question, what is the compass on your watch band that I get like on a weekly basis? And again, I believe it's the compass that everybody should have on them in some capacity in your edc kit on your watch in a pocket something somewhere so that if you need a compass you can have something that's very reliable guys so thank you so much for coming over here today checking out the channel please subscribe comment like share this video love to hear your guys thoughts any questions that you have i'll answer in the comments below and always remember stay equipped stay prepared and we'll see you out there